guys. So I have been talking to a friend of mine who knows about my sewing abilities and she has inspired me incredibly. Um, I've got this face mask thing and my mom kind of had the idea. I guess she saw it somewhere or she was like just had the idea which I think a lot of seamstresses or crafters have had the idea to make face masks knowing that they're in short supply. We need cops. We need people in, in, in those kinds of well we need those kinds of people and um you know so I was talking to my friend she was like you know you've got all this skill you've got all this stuff like let me donate some money to you for supplies let's get this done let's do this and I'm like hell yeah let's do this so I just got back from a drive I got a little stir crazy and now I'm currently making some patterns with my old garbage boxes. Yeah, that's from October, because I accumulate my, my stuff until I need to throw it all out. But yeah, so I'm gonna be documenting a lot of this. Um, <laughs> I'm using this for patterns, you know, the back of it, it's perfect. Um, so I can reuse them, you know, and, and I'm gonna use them to make this pattern so that we can make masks. Um, now, just so everyone is aware as well, we're not just making masks and then hoping that they'll take them. We get that there are protocols, that there are spe specific things that will um, be needed. I know for sure um, I've been seeing and hearing a lot about cotton. You know, if, if you're going to end up doing things like this, please, please, please do not waste your time and resources on making things that will not be able to be used. Do your research and do it proper. We have friends in the field who we are contacting. You know, we, we've got some things that we can use, but it, it's better not to waste your time and energy if it's going to end up being rejected. So, um... You know that's that's what's going on right now so yeah I'm excited actually I'm really excited like I was gonna start in this tomorrow but um I'm kind of really excited <laughs> like I, I feel like I have a purpose I feel like I have a purpose you know it's really nice you know this this, this whole situation has kind of left a lot of people feeling like they are helpless you know, I think, I think that's where a lot of the fear comes from, you know, you feel helpless. And I'm glad that I'm doing something that can help with preventative care, with, with, with helping the medical profession, with helping cops, with helping firefighters, whoever. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. If, if you need this because you need it, I'm happy to help you. Now, on the other hand... If you're a person who is very afraid of this and is buying out and hoarding face masks or any other supply, please stop. Please. All right? This is legitimately something you need to stop doing because in the end, you are causing our doctors and our police officers and anyone else who is out there, who needs to be out there, who doesn't have a choice to stay inside, you are the reason why they are at more at risk. Because you're taking supplies away from them. They are what's important right now. Not you sitting at home with a face mask. Alright? Cut it out. <laughs> Alright. Now that I got off of my chest, um... So yeah, let's let's get this started. Woo! I'm excited. Good morning, my gypsies. It is day four. I'm starting to lose track, and that's okay. I really don't care. Um, so today's the first day. However, my mom and I are gonna really start making our face masks to donate. Um. Uh. So, I'm going to be pretty much 
just showing you some of my daily fun stuff but um, since my dad is working from home I'm gonna have to not be talking for the most part um, my mom is doing a really great job going around the house finding all the bits and bobs of, of fabrics that we have we actually have some uh, she she donates her time to make christening gowns every year she's been doing it for years and she has leftover fabric which is a hundred percent cotton which is exactly what we need for these masks so it's kind of like the universe was like don't worry we got you <laughs> you you'll use it for something good you know and I love that it's one donate one one donate project to the next like it's like the universe is allowing us to pay it forward I love that it's it's pretty rad so that's that um and yeah uh I'm tired because I just woke up and I need coffee. Also, uh, it's snowing. Like, this pandemic has made the universe freak out, including Mother Nature. But that's okay. I mean, I knew it was gonna snow. I'm just kind of annoyed by it, honestly, because yesterday. I was sitting here on my bed and it sounded like a bird was like perched right on top of the um the roof right outside my window. I was like, oh, where's this bird? Where's this bird? What kind of bird is it? It's so cool, like it sounds familiar. I look up, it's a freaking crow right like up on the corner of my here. It was Ugh, shiza. Right up here. On the roof, like, right on the, the line. I don't know if anyone saw that. Because bad angles and shit. But it was right there. It was so cool. I fucking loved it. And when, <laughs> when I noticed it, like, I kept on looking out the window and, like, whatever. But then once I noticed it, it was like, oh, shit, she saw me. And then it went away. But, like, I kept on, like, crowing. I was like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> Ka, can you find me? Ka, can you find me? No. <laughs> so that was, that was cute. That was a fun experience. And now I can't do that today. But that's okay because what better day to start a sewing project than on a really gross snowy day when you're in quarantine. Right? So anyway. I hope you enjoy this, this adventure. I'm already really excited about it. So, you know.
So it is like 11.50 ish right now and um, I'm at my friend's house. We are going to go try and see if we can find some uh, supplies that I need. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, and we're obviously going to be practicing social distancing and stuff. You know, we're, we're going to do our best. So I find this to be a necessity and she's going to help me out. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, so adventures to find supplies. Yay! Um, meanwhile, while I'm doing this, my mom's at home working on stitching up all those masks that I cut out this morning. So, yeah, this is great. I'm so excited and I'm happy that I'm doing this. And, you know, it... It makes me feel like I'm doing something good um, for everyone, so.